Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Steven. My school is on fire. Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Steven. And today, we're going to be making a content aware scale slash distorted audio and video video. So, first thing you're going to want to do is open up Photoshop. You're going to need Photoshop, Premiere Pro, and a video editor of your choice. You can use Premiere Pro if you'd like. Um, I'm more used to um, Sony Vegas, so I'll just use that instead. So, first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to File, Import, Video Frames to Layers, and you're going to want to select your original video. So, Content Aware Scale Test in this case. Might take a little while to load if you have a longer video, but um, it shouldn't take too long. Alright, once you have your image loaded, you want to go ahead and go to the last layer. You want to view it, and you want to press at the same time, Control, Alt, Shift, and C. And you'll see you have these bars that come up, and if you shrink it, you'll notice... Pretty glitchy and funny and whatever so you're gonna want to go ahead and oh I prefer editing it manually so width I'm gonna set that to 40 and height I'm gonna set that to 40 remember these numbers okay so 40 by 40 excellent and now press the check mark making sure that you have this one viewed and this one viewed only once you make sure that only this one and this one are viewed you're gonna to wanna to go over to File, Scripts, Animated Content Aware Scale. Now, if you don't have this, don't worry, it's a plugin. I'm gonna leave the link in the description. Um, it has instructions on that website on how to do this, so just view those. So click on it, and starting height, starting width, don't really mess with those. Ending height, ending width, you wanna set those to the original values that you made your um, this last frame. So 40% by 40% for example, then you just want to press run. Now this is going to take a long time, so I'm going to cut till when this is done. Alright, now once that's done, you're going to want to go ahead and while not touching anything, go over to file, export, and render video, and you're going to name it whatever you want to name it, I'll name it ready for audio, and you should see a file here when it's done. Poof, there it is. Excellent. So now you're going to want to go ahead and close Photoshop. You don't need any more. And you're going to want to open up the video editor of your choice, something that you're comfortable with. I, I mean, I prefer that. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Sony Vegas Pro because I'm used to that. And I'll talk to you when it's done. All right, now that our video editing software is open, you're going to want to go to File Open and select both the original video and the edited video open both of them and you want to make sure that your original clip has or your new edited clip has the same audio as the original clip so as you can see here hey what's going on guys my name is Steven and my school is on fire it looks nice you might notice that on the very last frame kind of looks weird right so you can just cut that off no no harm done hey what's going on guys my name is Steven and my school is on fire excellent and now when that's done you're gonna render it as whatever you want so I'm gonna name it ready for distortion perfect now I'm just gonna double check everything's okay it's actually in my documents folder all right, so. Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Evan, and my school is on fire. Looks good. So now we're gonna open up Premiere Pro. Excellent. All right, once you have Premiere Pro open, you're gonna wanna press New Project here, I guess, and just press OK. Uh, I'll just call this um, Uber Cool, I guess. Yeah, sure. Okay. So that sounds nice. And so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to grab your ready for distortion clip or whatever you called it and drag and drop it right into here. Excellent. Now you want to go over to effects here and you want to press um, under audio effects. It is called flanger. So you want to drag and drop that onto your audio clip. Excellent. 
So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to your individual parameters. Excellent. You see that? Good. You're going to want to add times for all of these. Perfect. Then you want to go to the end of the clip and add keyframes for all of these. And now for these, you're going to want to edit each of these individually for the final clip and you're going to want to copy these settings that I put in. For initial delay, delay time, you're going to want to make that 9.77 or as close to that as possible. That's fine. For final delay time, you want to edit that and make it 17.84 as close to that as possible. Eight, seven. Yes, that should be good. For stereo phasing, you want to set that all the way up to 360 degrees. Modulation rate or frequency, you want to put that up to 5.59, as close to that as possible. Should be good. Mix, you want to make it 100% wet. Special effects mode should be on. And, oh, sorry, feedback. You're actually going to want to make that 39.2. As close to as possible. That should be good. Now, play it in the clip. Hey, what's going on, guys? My name's Stephen, and my school was on top. Excellent. Now what you may want to do is actually start this keyframe from when the audio starts so that it doesn't sound that weird all the way at the beginning, right? That might make a little bit of a weird experience. And so yeah, just go like that. Okay. So you start it. Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Stephen and my school is on thought. Excellent. Guys, we have just made an absolute masterpiece. So now you could just want to go file, export, media. Uh, I don't think you have to mess with this too much. Um, ready for distortion. Excellent. So yeah, you're going to go ahead and export it. beautiful and to find this you want to go ahead and type in Premiere Pro I'm gonna open up this one instead excellent yes okay so this is the right one I want to open a Premiere Pro whatever version you have and then your video and yes re definitely replace the file and ladies and gentlemen here's the final result hey what's going on guys my name is Steven my school is on phone Excellent. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please be sure to slap a like on it. I'd always appreciate that. Um, I might make a regular video soon that's not necessarily a tutorial video, something that I'm used to, but of course, you've seen me in the past, so whatever. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.